Welcome back to another Spirit Island video. In this video, we're going to be talking about Roots' combos. So looking at Roots here, we have three different cards that can combo with the team. First one is Boon of Resilient Power. And this is a power card that is going to restore a destroyed presence. And then that player also gains a power card. The next one is Blooming of Rocks and Trees. And this allows us to place vitality in other players' lands or our lands. And finally, Entwine the Fates of All. This targets any player, and in that player's land, they get Defend 2 per presence. And that Defend 2 is going to factor in all spirits' presence in that land. What really makes Entwine the Fates of All very cool is you can um, communicate with other players at the table, having them place presence in your lands to further buffer your defense. You can also use Boon of Resilient Power to restore a destroyed presence, and then use that destroyed presence to defend too. It's a really cool combo that I love between these two cards. Let's look at the combos here. Starting off with Hearth Vigil, this is one of the best combos for Roots, and that is because of two things. First, Hearth Vigil is able to place between one and two presents, usually across the board with this G2, and Roots is able to ask Hearth Vigil for that presence, so that you can buffer that entwine the fates of all. In addition, Earth Vigil has Favors of Story and Season, and this card says target spirit may gather up to three Dahan into one of their lands. If they have at least three Dahan, they gain an energy and re reclaim a power card instead of discarding it. This card is so important for Roots because it gives Roots one of, it fixes one of Roots' weaknesses, and that's Roots can't gather Dahan very well. The Roots takes favors, can fast gather to Han, which sets up the sets up the um, proper counterattack with this defend. In addition, it's going to give Roots energy, and we know Roots is energy starved, and it lets them reclaim a card, which helps Roots dodge a reclaim. Because now, you can play your defend, they play Story and Season, you reclaim your defend, so now you don't have to reclaim for it, you just get the card back. And this helps um, smooth out Roots' turns, because Roots usually wants to draft a second defend, and favors allows Roots to kind of dodge that. Now in return, Roots can give Hearth Vigil either Vitality to combo with the Dahan counterattacks, or Boon of Resilient Power, which gives uh, Hearth Vigil more power card drafts. Looking at the next combo, we have Many Minds, and Many Minds has Boon of Bedevilment, and you've probably seen this in my other videos, but Boon of Bedevilment is going to allow a spirit to get Defend 1 per presence in all of their lands which you'd think combos very well with Entwine the Fates Fall. But really what makes this card very strong, it's the bottom part. This target spirit may push up to one of their presence. That means you can move the Incarna with Boon of Bedevilment. Very underrated effect that is very powerful on Incarna spirits, being able to move that Incarna for free. Once again, Roots can give Many Minds a power card. The next spirit here is Darkness. And Darkness has Reach from the Infinite Darkness, which allows Darkness to abduct up to two presents from any spirit's table. This, once again, just like Bedevilment, will allow Darkness to abduct the Incarna. And then when Darkness chooses a growth option next turn, they can drop off that Incarna from the Endless Dark to any land. So it essentially allows you to move Roots' Incarna, now, you won't be able to get that right innate because your Incarnate won't be on the board, but that's okay. In exchange, Roots can use one of its lands, its Incarna land, to be Darkness' dump, dump land. So now Darkness can just allow all of the invaders to escape just into that one Roots' Incarna. The next one here is Serpent, and Serpent has plenty of extra power card gains, power card plays, or elements. And all three of these is very advantageous for Roots because a lot of times in the early game, Roots is going to have two plant, a sun, and a moon. And all you'll need is either one plant or one sun. And you'll likely upgrade these innates. And you'll be surprised at how frequently um, that will happen. And all you need is just a little bit of support. And if you can hit these, these level twos, the level two of the right innate and the level three of the left innate, you can get very far ahead with Roots. And Snake really doesn't need anything. Um, 
the fact that Roots is taking so little Blight in the matchup is going to help buffer the Blight pool for Snake in that uh, mid game. Oh, and another thing is the Snake aspect. Locust is able to place Vitality, which could allow, um, if you hit this threshold, you can place a Vitality uh, in the Roots land. I guess it's kind of hard, right? You need to be able to um, set up. Yeah, you'd have to get the Incarnate in the Roots land, which is going to be very challenging. But it could happen, and that could allow you to empower a lot easier. And finally, we have Ocean. And Ocean has Tattle Boon, which is going to give Roots 2 energy, a Town Push, and a Han movement. Incredible combo piece. And then Roots is going to buffer, that, uh, buffer the Blight Pool. And also give uh, Vitality to Ocean, Defend to Ocean, or Power Cards. So pretty much everything. In addition, once Ocean is on Roots' board, Roots can use this Left Innate to gather invaders into the ocean. A very cool combo. So these are just five spirits that I think Roots combos quite well with. Um, now let's look at the honorable mentions. So looking at the top here, we have Wounded Waters, Volcano, Vengeance, and Green. These are four spirits that have quite a lot of destroyed presence throughout the game. And we know Roots is able to restore destroyed presence with Boon of Resilient Power. This could be very advantageous for a spirit like Volcano or Green or maybe just keeping one of these spirits alive. And as I mentioned earlier, um, since we have that card that defends two per presence, using Boon of Resilient Power to restore a destroyed presence, maybe you might not have any destroyed presence as roots, and these spirits are going to give you that outlet of a destroyed presence to help buffer that defend if you need to. Finder. Finder is going to give you presence movement, which allows you to move that Karna, but it also... You can combo and use uh, Finder can use you as a dump zone, just like Darkness can, or it can throw all of its invaders into your carnal land. Lightning, River, and Heat all have unique powers that can combo well with River or with um with Roots. Rising Heat has the energy boon of Gift of Searing Heat. River has a boon of vigor, which can give Roots a lot of energy. And finally, Lightning has that um, as Lightning's Boon. Which can allow Roots to make its Majors fast or its, uh, its Innates. And all three of these spirits benefit greatly from a card like Resilient Power, giving them Power Cards. Keeper combos well with Roots because Keeper is an endgame spirit that takes a little bit of Blight in the early game. And Roots... Um, kind of stalls out the early game and can buffer that Blight Pool for Keeper. In addition, Keeper and Roots can swap their power card gains for maximum value because now Keeper can give out the power card boon to, uh, to Roots, giving Roots an energy, and then can now grab a minor instead of a major. And then Roots can just give their power boon to Keeper. Earth. I have Earth here mainly for the vitality aspect, nourishing. In fact, it's going to allow... Uh, vital strength to um, put vitality down on the board, and then uh, we can use that in Roots' land to possibly empower. And finally, we have memory, and that's because memory can give spirits power cards. In addition, memory could give um, elements, and that can allow Roots to hit those thresholds a lot easier. Looking at the very top, now these are spirits um, that still combo well with Roots. It's just not as well as some of the spirits um, down here. I think Roots can combo with anything just because these cards are just so versatile. But the spirits in the center and the spirits down here tend to give Roots a lot more. If you like this video, like, subscribe for more content. I'll see you guys in the next video.